what is going on guys and girls uh so this is the first recording i've done in a game in a while and uh i decided that it should be elite dangerous because i have been playing the hell out of this game recently and it's just so much fun so right now i'm currently uh here let's let's open the galaxy map and see i'm currently quite a bit a ways away from the bubble as uh as you can see um and that is because i decided to to do a, a little bit of an exploration trip to um well i think uh right now the exploration is planned to go right about to here and i'm planning to uh go to some of these big blue stars right in this little section over here i have the star labeled where i decide to go but um I, I'm about to do something that I've never really done before, and that is a Neutron Star um, supercharge of an FSD while exploring, and uh, I, I figured I'd share that first experience with you guys, so uh, we got a couple of jumps planned up ahead, so let's just uh, get right into it. Now, if you don't know what Elite Dangerous is, um, it's the latest game in a series of uh, Elite is the franchise and it's a uh, space simulation sort of games you know space flight simulations and um it's i don't know it's just it's fun it's a great game to just kill time in and to just just have a good time and i and love space i enjoy it so much and uh i figured uh, why not why not share that every so often you know i'm not this probably won't be uh a regular series because it's just something i like to you know play while listening to music and all that jazz but when i do something cool like what's about to happen i figured why not record it for all the world to see Ooh, looks like we got quite a bit of a star system on our hands here all right let's finish up scooping up our fuel and let's see what's uh let's see what's nearby let's open the system map and see if there's anything worth note who knows maybe we'll get an earth-like world they're very rare but ooh, look at a binary pair there Ooh, wow, this one looks interesting. <laughs> First discovered by Natalie Portman. Oh, thanks, Natalie Portman. I didn't realize you were exploring space with the rest of us. Yeah, these planets are all way too close to the sun to be anything of significance. But they have this one has ice caps, which is kind of cool. Um, these ones are a binary pair. Anyway, it doesn't look like any of these are going to be worthwhile. I don't know how far away from the start point these are okay um well nothing really of note just a ton of planets i could scan them for high metal content but let's just get right into the next jump so our next jump is to uh prey euq rt1 d91 which is a neutron star that i went on um let's see if i can find the uh elite dangerous index uh system thing and it's the uh, neutron router i'm going to be using the neutron router to do uh neutron highway jumps to uh to my destination which is uh hip 28691 which is a um black hole um it's a black hole blue star binary system that i found just while looking at the map and i thought it would be really cool to go there so i guess all that's left to do is just sort of line up for the next jump huh all right here we go i've never done an fsd boost before and i've only been to one system like a neutron star which was a white dwarf so uh here's hoping that uh it's something good all right here comes the jump Four, three, two, one. oh god okay this is where it gets complicated so i have to immediately throttle once I get into the system because I don't want to fly into the star. Alright, ready, set, wait for the sound. There we go. Deep throttle. Whoa. Isn't that magnificent? Look at that beautiful thing right there. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. Don't suppose I could get any scans from it? 
Do we need to be closer? No. It's not like... Oh, I need to probably do this first. There we go. Let's wait for it to finish up its scan. There we go. Neutron star. Let's see what this looks like in the in the system map. I've never seen a neutron star in the system map before. Whoa. Ew, it's so weirdly lumpy and that's it's kinda neat. Here's a little blurb of a neutron star. This one is 3.74, 3.074 billion years old. That's kind of neat. All right. All right. So to do an FSD supercharge, we need to fly in sort of like a parabolic arc into the, into the, the, the jets, but we can't fly straight into the jets from the, or like while pointing at the star and, oh God. Okay, here goes nothing. Just a slight increase in speed. Don't be looking directly at the star while doing this. Do it sort of like this. Make sure you're going rather slowly. Don't be pointing at the star. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, and we should be flying in any second now. Oh, come on. Okay. Warning, frameshift drive operating. Come on, your come on, limits. come on. Frame okay, point away from the star and charge. just accelerate. Get away from the star. There we go. Awesome. All right, let's just get way far away from this fucking thing. This freak of nature. Whew. Well then. Let's let us see what we've managed to Wow, look at that. Well, there we go. Also, if you're wondering what ship I'm in, it's an Adder. It's uh, my favorite ship in this game by far, and also one of the, <laughs> the least expensive ones you can get. Uh, yeah, so, all right, let's get back into here. Okay, let's look at our jump range that we got. Let's see. S 63. Now, we can do a 63 light year jump, and we have to start making our way to another neutron star which is 155 light years away. But we can basically just go into the galaxy map and and plot our way there. All right. That's awesome. Wow. Look at those lines. I've never seen lines extend that far. That's crazy. All right, let's let's plan our our next route. Let's search up the next neutron star we have to go through. And there it is. Another neutron star. Uh, maximum distance exceeded. It's only 155 light years away. Okay. Well, that's where we have to go next. So I guess the logical step is to go sort of this way with the jump. So let's go to like as far away as we can. And also a fuel star. This is a red dwarf. Eh. I want a red dwarf. I don't want a red dwarf. I want something that I can fuel off of. This one looks good. A G yellow white star. This looks perfect. And it's right. We can make uh, our way to our next star from here. So let's select this one. It's going to be a 55 light year jump. Wow, this is going to be... I've never done this before. All right, let's see what the damage of our frame shift... Blah, 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 blah. Our frame shift drive damage is... 98%. People say you shouldn't you shouldn't really exceed past uh past uh 90%. Charging. 
while doing uh, the Neutron Star Highway, so we'll see. But let's see what this, uh, I don't know if the animation or anything changes for a supercharged FSD, but I also don't know if the damage occurs after the jump occurs or like but beforehand i don't know it's already at 98 percent. we were already at 99 percent because i had a close run in with a star but uh let's see that's a supercharged jump complete that's awesome Fuel scooping. Scoop our way back up to full, and fly our way out of here. Did we just pop into the system with an excess amount of heat? Jesus Christ. All right, let's slow down. Let's see what the system has to offer us. Just one very hot charred planet. Interesting. I love how I, I just want to say like I'm like a thousand light years out of the bubble. I'm very freaking far out so far. Like okay, let's 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 see the bubble, right? There's the bubble. There's me. And I still am finding systems that were discovered by other people. Which is incredible when you think about it. But whatever, I suppose, right? Going realistic, and let us now plot our way to our next, uh, our next system, shall we? Yeah, so it's 103 light years away. That should only be like four jumps, not four jumps, a couple more than that, but uh, that's not too far. Ten, nine jumps. That we can we can do that really easy. And that once we get there, we will only be uh. 2,792 light years from our uh, objective. Wow, that's a long ways away. Wow. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this short little video. I just wanted to sort of record my first recorded instance of a neutron star supercharged FSD slingshotting, whatever you want to call it. I think it's called an Icarus jump. Uh, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, if you want to see more ED on this channel, not erectile dysfunction, but elite dangerous, uh, just comment, you know, subscribe, like this video, or just, you know, watch it a bunch, that's fine too. Um, but, uh, other than that, I will, uh, see you all later.